Good evening time everybody. 018 here. Donkey Stomper. Please take time to like, subscribe to our YouTube if you're not already. We've got a 2x6 stickman box. I don't I don't use the call builder's name, but he's not in the game no more. Uh, he's resting in peace. He's passed away, so I don't think he'd care. Uh, pretty interesting build. It's a hot little box. He's had another builder, I'm not even going to call his name, rebuilt it once. And, uh, partially or worked on it or whatever this this had a few hours on it it's a two 2290s driving 827 on chivas first thing i'll talk about well i'll show you what i did first i changed that relay the new relay in there there was no ground strap from here to here at all i was using the case so i did that little ground strap to help uh let's see i saw your ground looks the ground tabs on the board what else did I do? Added electrolytics. Uh, let's see, what else did I do? Fix the resistor on the viral right here. It's burning out. Somebody overdrove it. Uh, there's more. I gotta think of it. It's quite a bit of a while I spent on this box. I tied zip tied all the wires up and everything. Tried to knead it up a little bit. Put some zip ties on the coaxial wires. Uh, oh yeah. Wired the fan up. I know I'm forgetting some. Oh, yeah. PL259s are wore out. They just loose as a goose, so I put new ones in the back of it. Good ones. Teflon. What else? I think that's about it. First thing I want to cover is the relay. You noticed, here's the relay come out of it. A lot of these guys are taking these wires off these relays and putting them right into the coax, like so. Which I understand why they're doing that. They're trying to shorten the wires. But, they're also messing with the integrity of the relay. The spring and so forth is not made to pull in them wires. They were started in here and there was no tension on it. So you gotta be real careful because a lot of times doing this right here will hurt your relay and make you receive. Make it where when you key and unkey, you receive a kick in and out, you know, on every unkey. So that's why I don't mess the relays. I leave the covers on them and run the wire. I know the wire it's a little bit more for it to go through, but also run a capacitor on a straight through to tune it. But my two cents is if they wanted to relay this way, they would have made it this way. They wouldn't put it in a sealed case like that if it was uh, meant to be took apart and made that way. So I think when you do that, I understand why they're doing it. They're trying to shorten the wires. They're also shortening the integrity of the relay, if you ask me. That's just my opinion. You know how opinions are. Everybody's got one. All right. As far as the combiners, they're a little bit different than what we do. Basically, they just made a transformer. They went through the combiners one wrap. Well, your transformer's one wrap, so then going through there one wrap, that makes two wraps. Basically, the combiners are doing the same thing they do for us. There's a, you can, these amps, man, you can build them, build them, build them so many different ways, but when it comes to the end, everybody's getting to the same place, you know? I mean, it all, it's, it's kind of like driving somewhere. If I drive to your house one way, my buddy drives to your house another way, and my buddy, another buddy drives to your house another way, but when we get there, we're all at the same place. And that's kind of what's going on here. It's different ways, but it equals the same place. See, the transformer counts as one wrap, wire through it once, it's two wraps. It's the same thing we do, just about. All right. Toshiba box this is a real healthy box. That's why I spent all this time. Uh, I didn't put this there. That was done there from the builder that fixed it last time, which that's, that's a good deal. It was a good deal. All right, now we'll start out. First thing I want to do is check our, well, I'm going to leave it turned on and check our straight through with it on for receive. And we got it. All right. This gentleman wants me to check the receiver. He guess he's had some boxes worked on before he didn't get no receive. All right, I'm going to plug the coax back in. I'm going to turn it off, straight through SWR. Hello worldwide, hello worldwide, hello worldwide, 23 watt drive. Hello worldwide. Alright, I'm gonna turn it back on. See, so I'm gonna try to set it on 15.5. Where we go 15.5. My verbal's about to get wore out of my power supply. I hate verbal power supplies. Alright. Input tune. Hello, worldwide, worldwide zero. That's really good. I'm gonna turn the key down.
This baby does not own much daycare. That's good enough. If you're gonna run this variable wide open, you're gonna need less than a watt decky to turn your variable wide open. That's just the way it's built. All right. First thing I'll do is look at our swing. Look at that right there. Hello, one, two, where, why, where, why, where, why, where, why, where, why, where, why, where, why. Hello, one, two, that's a hot box. That's a big number for a six bill. Now, keep in mind, we're running 15.7. Hello, where, why, where, why. We hit 19 there for a minute. Just for kicks, I'm gonna roll it back to 14 something volts, so it does are supposed to be. Come on down. It's a hot box. Like I said, it's Stigman built. He built some good boxes back in the day, guys. Uh, I reckon he's probably one of the best. Hello, worldwide, 14 volts. Hello, worldwide, 14 volts. Hello, worldwide, 14 volts. Hello, worldwide, worldwide, worldwide. It's great big numbers for a six bill. There won't be no more of these built neither. One to see and two, no stick man. All right, our 2500 watt PUP. Hello, we're a wire, 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 1400. And a bird. Five on reverse. Hello, we're a wire, we're a wire, we're a wire. And for the tune, we're a wire, we're a wire. Swing, hello, we're a wire, we're a wire, we're a wire, we're a wire. That's a really nice box. Collectible. That's why I spent so much time on it, getting everything straight and kind of upgrading everything and freshening it up because it is kind of a collectible box. But uh, there it is, guys. Stick man two by six. And like I say, as far as the uh, combiners, it's the same deal. It's just you go one right through there, which equals two right. It's the same as ours. We're just about real close. I had to get an impedance meter. I had to put my impedance meter on there to see exactly. As far as the relay, guys, I don't believe in doing this. Several other builders do. And that's fine because they're trying to shorten the wire. But also to me, they're hurting the integrity on the relay. Like I said, that's my opinion. Everybody's got one. Alrighty, guys, stick man two by six one more time. Hello, we're wide, we're wide, we're wide. Getting on down, getting on down. Bring it, bring it. Good box, collector piece. Oh, yeah, I did a lecture release. I'm going to tell you that or not. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. Please take time to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Your friend 10, 018 Beavis, Donkey Stomper. Catch you later on. Bye bye.